172, the 2012 SLK yesterday in Florida, got back home around 1 in the morning. And uh, woke up this morning around 8, and uh, now I'm in the Uber, going to the airport, and I'll we're going to go pick up. Just dropped my bags, bringing some whiskey to my brother in Denver, but uh, I'm really tired and I couldn't sleep last night. When I drive for long times, I, uh, I get this motion. It's almost like being in the ocean. And it's not like drinking or anything like that, but your nervous system doesn't let you go to sleep. I don't know what that is. Someone in the comments can probably tell me, but uh, I get that a lot when I drive for long distances. Yesterday I drove for 12 hours, but uh, it'll be exciting. So I'm going to buy a car in Denver. They're very rare. They're hard to find and they hold their value very, very well. A lot of other uh, automotive journalists have called them the car that is always gonna be $30,000. So, if you can kind of guess what it is by now, then drop a comment. Actually, go ahead and guess. Everybody just go ahead and guess right now. But uh, that's the plan, and we'll get going on that. But who really knows? what it's gonna be like. I've already wired the guy all the money. My brother went and looked at the car. He lives in Denver. Says it's cool, but uh, we'll see for ourselves. All right, so I made it to Denver. Uh, anyways, we're about to find out what's going on. What car is it? What is it gonna be? What kind of car is it? So I'm at Cameron's house and we're working on the Lotus. And uh, so, so this Lotus had a couple of quirks about it. Someone clearly spent a lot of money on it when it was pretty new. <clears throat> I'm gonna go through everything real quick. It's got sticky tires on the front, normal tires on the back. I'm gonna change that when I get back. Toe hook in the front. I'm gonna make it more centered so it drops down. Um, the front clamshell is in excellent condition but the headlights are starting to haze i think that they might have been modified uh they had this little circle ring about them and so they probably weren't sealed correctly when they were done back in the day back in the day but it's got the front canards these wheels are the forged wheels they're called lss wheels they go for a lot of money i think they were like a four thousand dollar option back in the day the um has a hard top didn't come with a soft top. It has these Exige side scoops, which I don't think are original equipment, but uh, pretty cool nonetheless. It has um, a lot of interior modifications. So this model would have had two vents right here. And um, someone deleted that and put in a double den stereo, which is cool. It wasn't working when I bought it. We just got it to work. It sounds okay. It also has this shallow they're calling it a sub, but I'm pretty sure that's a mid. And um, it had a lot of, uh, the way that they set the uh, amplifier up in the trunk was pretty poor. So uh, we fixed that and uh, we're gonna move it over to the side. It was in front of the, there's a hump here for the exhaust. This um, one, no 05, at least this came supercharged. So this guy added a supercharger at the dealership and it has um, the ECU to match. <clears throat> it's the Lotus supercharger. And then um, 
so at some point he changed to these taillights, which I think might not be original 06, but they're the style of the 06 LED. And it has exhaust and it has a rear clam tilt, which um, this BOE is part of that little uh, license plate bracket thing is part of it. <clears throat> so the clam can actually tilt all the way back, which is cool. They give you more space in the trunk. It, they move the battery back over here. Normally it's where Cameron's head is. Can I just hit that, these screws with a hammer? Get it out. Can you hit stuff. the screws with a hammer? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's probably how they would have done at the factory. <laughs> but like for real, I can get it out. Yeah, sure. It's already broken. Okay. There's another module. Did you see that module on the second light? Yeah, I don't know what it is. I don't either. Maybe it's part of the turn signal. But uh, anyways, super, super cool car. It's really tiny though. Oh my God. Can you use the butt end of it? Got it. Yeah, see, it looks like it was broken right there. So I didn't have a, a backup light on this side, but I have it on this side, right? Were both of these lit up? I didn't look. This one also looks broken, but. Oh, not really. Yeah. Nothing like this one. I mean, fuck. How's that happen? I mean, it says Lotus part number and it has an SAE number, so I think these might be original. Do you need this little thing to make it stretch? This little jumper cable? Oh, second. You see the one in the middle? Oh, yeah, you do need this. It has a resistor in it. So... Cool. You want to see if I have something for that side? Didn't, was there not one in there? No. Hell yeah. How does the cover go back on? Did it just slide into there? In that yeah, it slides in and it goes somewhere over here. There. Okay. It's kind of weird someone like took the time to make that. So this is where I ripped my jeans the first day I bought it. Or yesterday, I guess. Yeah. Fuck. Oh. 